Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial for bus testing. In this tutorial, we are in this video, we are going to do a normal test and then we will do a test with bark scale for human listening test to capture the buzz and then we will do a high res buzz detection test using high res algorithm here. So first thing first, my, I, my microphone is already calibrated and I have already C-weighted equalize my speaker for 0 0.05 dB at 94 dB SPL. And this is C-weighted. So this is already done. And you can see that I'm using the C-weighted in my, all the three tests, I'm using my C-weighted uh, equalization to do the testing. So let's start the test. So in the second run and third run, I'll create the knock. So I did create the knock in the second and third test and let's go take a look at the results. So you can see that in the FR you don't see that much of difference between the three tests. Phase response a little bit difference but not that much but you can see in the TSD maybe a little bit, rub and buzz a little bit, TSD plus N definitely you can see some delta. And let's go to look at our first is our clean run with a bar scale spectrogram. So you can see this is the clean signal and just to see the noise floor so we can go check what is the noise floor of our environment. So 1.1, and this is in sounds for the bark scale. So it almost looks like maybe 1.4 is our um, noise floor. So if I look at the noise floor here and then take a look at the second measurement, you can see right here, I can see some buzz detection using the bark scale human perception or the stationary loudness. And let's go to now the high res algorithm. So in high res, let's see first find the noise floor. So it looks like maybe this is our 30 or maybe even 35 might be our noise floor. And you can see the buzzing up here and let's see at what point these spikes go away. That will also give us a hint how much of leg room we have. So if I have 35 and at 50 it goes away, it means that uh, I have almost 15 dB above the noise floor to 
detect this buzzing using the high res. So this is the way what you will do is pretty much same thing. You can set the limits right here. So for the first one, let's say I can do a plus minus two and I can put one point, I think, at 1.5, I think we determined was the noise floor. So let's put uh, 1.5 as the noise floor. And as limit, we can put 0 0.2 sounds or 0 0.5 sounds actually. Let's put it that way to detect the limit. And similarly, we will go to the second one and you put the same limits. And for the third one, we saw that it was 35 was the noise floor. So I'll change the noise floor to 35 dBSPL and limit I'll put, let's say plus minus 10. And that way, these are the three limits and let's run the test again. So that way, when you actually run the test, it is pretty much understood that it will pass. But this is how you would set the limits for buzz detection testing. So this is where it basically shows you how to do the buzz detection testing using the three different, two different algorithm, high res and bark scale. And high res is definitely more uh, able to catch it uh, as compared to the bark scale. But the human perception, obviously, it's a little bit more loser as compared to the higher res. So that's why you can see it's a little bit of lesser uh, catching capability in terms of buzzing. So depending upon if you're looking from a human per perception perspective or you are absolutely looking at the performance uh, of the speaker, you can use either the bark scale which is the loudness based perception test, or you can use the regular uh, high res uh, spectrogram to do the buzz testing. All right, I hope everyone likes it. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.